Hello and welcome to part one of uh, the photogrammetry process for vegetation for Unreal Engine 5. Uh, in this part, we'll be focusing mainly on how to look for a scan that will fit our theme for the game. Uh, we need to follow certain rules before uh, deciding to download a certain scan from any website. Uh, this time, uh, I, will, I, will, I will take you through uh, what, what factors you need to check before you finalize on a certain scan to process it further down in zebrush and finally into a designer and take take it into unreal engine for testing first of all you need to check uh, if the albedo texture uh, in the in the scan you're trying to download is high res enough so what do i mean mean by <clears throat> high res enough so i will to show you uh, some examples uh, just a second let me open the website so this is uh, sketchfab so you can actually get some free models from here you, know, you can just search for uh, a tree scan or tree trunk or something like that or, or tree tree roots so what we are looking for is a, a, tree, a tree trunk which has a good amount of uh, roots at the bottom which has not more than you know one or two branches one or two branches are okay but if you have more than that like maybe four five six branches that is uh, going from the bottom till the top that won't work so the first 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 thing which we, uh, we need to take care of is finding out if the albedo resolution is good so to find that out i have opened some tabs here so the first one the, the scan you see here is a really bad example um, because if you if you zoom into the mesh you can see that the the albedo is is like really blurry so we definitely cannot you can, cannot use this now if you decide to use this tree fine i don't i don't care about uh the quality of albedo because i can sharpen it or i can do a pass in substance to make it look better or i can increase the noise uh, mod normal map to get out more details or if you say i can actually uh, improve the ambient occlusion or the cavity map inside it that won't work uh, even like even if you try to uh, to process this remove all the shadows uh, remove all the ambient occlusion you'll be left with a really really uh, blurry texture uh, for this specific example also uh, if you look from the side you can see there's there's a lot of uh, noise uh, at the bottom because the tree is standing on a, a curved hill like terrain and cleaning up this this part will take a lot of time also when you want to uh, get a clean geometry uh, to be used in in a uh, in a game so what you need is you need a really flat surface at the bottom like this so the tree will be uh, using like the roots have to really go down and just get flat at the ground like this now to uh, to get all of these roots lifted up and straightened is a lot of work that won't work so so we're actually going to not to consider this tree I can't use it so another one I found 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 was um, this one. This one looks nice from a distance. Uh, it looks like it has a lot of, lot of details on it, and the texture is also. I mean, I mean, albedo is good. Albedo is not bad. I'm I like not saying that it is like super perfect, but but it is way better than the the previous one. Also, uh, if you look at the albedo, uh, the amount of shadow information. Uh, and the ambient occlusion in information, uh, amount of moss on it, the amount of details, the amount of dust, dirt on it is very less. So it is it's mostly it is kind of flat um, color. Uh, if you take out the norm normals and if you take out the ambient occlusion, you will definitely get a nice clean albedo. So in the previous example, which I am showing here, I forgot to mention uh, these these moss. This kind of uh, dirt 
and and this stuff we can actually add them uh, at a later stage it is very easy we can just have an um, have a noise map over over the uh, over albedo and and use the amine occlusion and and dirt layers to get a nice blend uh, so we don't necessarily have to use a bark which already has moss on it so it's better to use one without moss so this one has no moss but still the the trunk is trunk is very branched so we cannot actually use this to create a create a terrible texture this is good for uh, a, a scan as it is but we cannot use it for a, uh, a realistic looking tree because that tree will have to have brand a uh, tileable texture going up so we cannot use this so for the next one so this tree uh, also I found on uh, Sketchfab. It looks nice from a distance. It has the same problem with the which we found the first one. The branches are like uh, are coming out from a very low angle. So I cannot use this. Also, if you look at it from this angle, I will draw on the screen. Um, if you look here, so this this part can be used for the the unique roots the roots looks nice and i only have this much space to play with for the tile book it is very very small when you uh, when you compare with uh, with this tree and uh, and, 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 and the tree will be working on lay at a later stage uh, it is it is very very different so i will have to multiply this part into you know more like sections which will have a lot of tileable repeatable Tiling repeating patterns. So, so this tree uh, is a no go. We can't use it. So the next sample I got was a a beech tree. Uh, I think they charge it. I think it's free. I don't know if it is free or not. But um, mm, this, yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, so texture wise, if you zoom in, this is way better than the previous one. Also, if you look at the uh, notes here, so they say it is a large oak tree. Uh, sorry, old be uh, what is it? Beach, beach, that is a beach, beach plane tree with fragmented scan of uh, two sixteen k texture. So it is pretty good. We can actually use use this definitely, uh, and also it has nice uh, root details. Uh, I think these shadows are coming from uh, the 3D viewer in Sketchfab, so I think this is not a not an issue. Uh, only thing is there is some amount of moss on it, which I I believe I can remove it in Designer. The only only thing I would do is uh, you cannot use these branches for the final scan uh, when you try to tile it so there will be a lot of work rem removing this you know this uh, broken branch these branches coming out here but overall it is uh, it is better than the previous one and we could definitely use something like uh, from the bottom to here for tiling next tree uh this tree the albedo is really good i like the albedo map because it is it is mostly flat um and it has a good amount of resolution if you go really close it, it gets blurry let me check what is the size of the texture that is 16k is fine um and the roots are really exposed it's good so there is a little bit of moss but i, I believe i can I'm gonna move that as well. So this is better than the previous one. And there's another one here. This is an example of a tree uh, someone built. Uh, I don't know how they built it. Maybe in speed or something. I'm, I'm not sure. But this is already a photo scan. They actually cut the ground off and they tiled it with something. I don't know. So tiling is really bad here. So you can see the, the seam. Uh, it blends nicely here. No, it's my bad. It's not blending. You can see clearly see a seam going up all the, all the way around. 
So this tree, whoever made this, the 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 work is good, but uh, they do not do not do a good job about tiling it. So that is the main thing uh, I will be doing it uh, in this uh, in, the, in in this full section of the tutorial. Uh, we'll be making a tileable section out of this unique part of the geometry. Then, then we go to uh, <coughs> textures.com. Uh, in this website, you can also find some tree scans, but they only have a few. Uh, so this uh, trunk spruce one is looks good. Uh, you can you could use that for testing, but others don't have enough root information at the base. Uh, it is it is just mostly flat. And you can use it for making a tileable texture, especially this uh, this uh, silver birch. So if I go to this spruce one, uh, so this is this is not not very bad uh, because it has nice roots at the base. Uh, there is some kind of weird white color at the base. I don't know what that is. So you go around it. This could be. Uh, a good choice also this length is really good for getting a terrible texture it is very effective if you look at this length so that is really good so you can use use this for getting a nice terrible texture and another one i found is uh, in pixel mega scans if you just type uh, a three, inside 3d assets tree and stump and if you scroll down all the way down uh, you'll see this tree here, tree stump. I really like this uh, mesh uh, because it will really fit our theme. So, so in our theme, as a as the concept, my tree has a lot of roots coming out. So the main advantage of this is this kind of nice roots coming out of the tree trunk. And also, I can use this section for really uh, making a good amount of tiling. Also, the the albedo looks very clean. Uh, you don't have any moss or any dirt information on it, so it is very easy to clean up. Then, then what are the other things you should look at? The next thing is um, is the mesh noisy. So here, what I'm talking about is uh, the the geometry itself. Uh, I'm not sure if we can uh, look at that just the mesh in uh, Sketchfab. Uh, if someone knows about it, just 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 uh, tell me about it. Uh, so, so the high so, so the high resolution mesh uh, looks looks okay with all these uh, and and for this one, it looks pretty detailed. So this is a mesh I'm going to select. So why I'm saying this is this has all the details which we need for making our final tree inside Unreal. Uh, so if I go into ZBrush, uh, I just downloaded this 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 mesh from Megascans, and I'll just turn off the texture for now. And if you look at the mesh, and if you go really close up, you can see uh, triangles in it. So if you, you get to zoom, zoom in really, really close to it, you can see the triangles. And if you look at the active points, it's like 7.6 million. So that is not a huge number. That is not heavy. But from this distance, the tree looks really, really good. So I can use this to generate a good amount of normal map, a good amount of uh, amine occlusion. Uh, and it is really good for generating the big... Uh, Albedo, because albedo is clean. Also, we can check the albedo resolution by going into texture mode again and changing the lighting mode to unlit or, or flat color. So, in flat color mode in ZBrush, if you zoom in really close, you can see the resolution getting getting bad, going really bad here. So, this this section of the tree, uh, we should be able to do some uh, nice work. On it uh, from the color map, but this section is really bad. So there are uh, there are some some takeaways, but but overall this uh, this tree is good. So 
next thing i need to check is does this scan appear to have most of the we already talk, talked about this uh try to find a scan that that, that has really less moss or if you if you can find something which has no moss or dirt that is the best how much ground is visible that is uh, another important point to be noted. so if we, if we go back to some of some one of these scans uh, for example this one this one is if you look at the roots here uh, I can just uh, draw on the screen. Uh, if you look here, like how much ground is visible? So this part of the root, uh, we'll be cutting it out in ZBrush and removing all the uh, ground below it because we don't need the ground. We can't use the ground. I'm just just going to use the uh, the the trunk and and the custom roots. That's it. So. All of these section you will have to mask and delete in ZBrush. That is a method time consuming work. Uh, it's a it's a manual work which needs some some time to do it. Also, uh, when you remove the the ground, you should be yeah, yeah you should make sure that you should preserve the details as much as possible because some of, some some of these roots might look good here when the ground is there, but when you cut the ground away. You will see only a very very little part of the 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 root like like for example here when i cut the ground off you'll be seeing only a very thin portion of the root, root root at the at the end so this can be a a a really bad thing so try to find a scan which has a lot of roots that are thick and that are really exposed uh out of the ground this one is another example, like which is a really bad example. I mean, uh, it's a good example for a bad amount of uh, ground surface. Then this tree is really good because, because the roots are really close to the trunk, and it's very easy to cut it off. Also, like there's a there's a good amount of uh, height between the ground and the roots. This also is good. Because the roots are thick, you can you can get away with just the bigger ones. You can just remove the the smaller ones which, because you don't need them. Uh, from this th this tree, the main thing is the ground is really less. I can show it to you in ZBrush. So you only have a tiny small amount of ground on the roots and and if you don't need the, the outer edges, you can just remove them while editing in ZBrush. So that's about the how much roots are exposed. How many roots are exposed? Yeah, that is the next one. Find a scan which has the best, uh, best bigger size size roots uh, that are really exposed or outside the ground. Uh, is there grass debris on the ground? Is it clean? That is very important. Uh, when you uh, when you go for a scan, try to find a scan which has very less amount of uh, debris and grass so this one is uh, this one is good because it is mud uh, it is very easy to clean up uh, stuff like this it is really really hard so this one is not bad but you can see the grass and the plants going into the the the, 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 the trunk and this is and this won't work because we're not going to take uh, any of these into the final tree also the green color is very distracting uh, and it will be really hard to remove for the final trunk. So don't go for anything that has grass on it or debris. Next one is uh, how tall is the trunk and is there enough information to tile vertically? So that is what I was talking about before uh, about the trunk size. So for this tree, I could just cut off only this this section and just tile it. So what about the the, the rest? A lot of information being uh, being lost uh, about uh, this one beach uh, this also is um, is a good example I could use a lot of the uh, vertical part of the trunk to create the tiling part of the texture so this is a really good example uh, there's a lot of space available for tiling and this is really good also for this one 
it's not very bad but i could still use the trunk uh, this this much part of the trunk to get a good tiling texture from here to here that's enough uh, i could i could e easily use for for some tools to um, to get a good tiling so the next part is are there any writings or marks on the trunk that cannot be removed uh, there, there could be some uh, some instances where uh, you will see certain certain um, discrepancies. Uh, this tree has an example. Uh, I saw a writing somewhere. Yeah, I think it's over here. So they have written like some cap or something, a car or something. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I mean, it's a kind of graffiti like writing. Uh, but it is very easy to remove. Also, there is something here. Someone wrote there. Uh, initials like SKS or something so uh, this can also be removed in Photoshop pretty easily that's not a big deal but try to find that is one that is really really small like this because it is easy to if the, if the writing is on the tree itself like is a big one like a big heart shape or you know people write a lot of stuff on it so if, you, if you're in a tree with a lot of writing don't 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 use it don't uh, don't spend your time uh, I mean, don't waste your time on it. Go for something that is more cleaner. Uh, then, is a is a tri uh, tree in an angle to the ground? This is very important. Uh, what I mean by angle is, uh, if you look at this this tree, it is uh, it is almost flat on the ground. This is a really good good scan which can be processed pretty easy. So if you go to see ZBrush and stamp to the side uh, to an angle, now look at this uh, the tree is almost at a at a, at a very flat flat plane if you look at this uh, compare the the tilt in the trunk to the ground so the trunk is almost like uh, like almost like a, a perpendicular to to the ground this is very easy to um, to process now if you look at this tree I'll show you one from sketchfab uh, I think it is this one. This one. This one is uh, is a like, like it's a good example of tree that is on an incline. So the roots are really good. I love I love, I love the roots. But how will you make it happen? Like how will you bring this into a three D three D software to process? It is really really hard, and it's very painstaking. Now, if I look at the tree, now this is the tree axis. That's that's, that's going going up. Look at the ground. The ground is like almost like a like uh, like almost like forty five degrees inclined, and this this inclination can be a big problem. So the the thing I'm saying is to, why I'm saying it's a problem is once you bring this into a, uh, uh, once you process this in ZBrush and once you bring try to use this tree in a game, you have to flatten this all these roots, bring them down again to match with the with the tree. Uh, perpendicular axis so that's again another another uh, another job uh, for this for this bark for for this beach trunk it's uh, it's relatively on a flat ground and it's really good now if you look at this look at the axis here uh, this is like straight and the uh, and the roots are almost they're almost on a flat 90 degree angle so this is perfect that this will work so that's all about <clears throat> sorry that's all about uh finding the 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 best scan and texture for your uh for the tree see you in the next part thank you